We upgraded our camper. Hey guys, Tanya and David with Outside by Side. Oh my gosh, we got a new trailer. We went to the Houston RV show and we upgraded our trailer. Wow, we are so excited. We want to show you around in case you're looking for a travel trailer, a perfect couples trailer. This is the one we think that you're going to love. And let's get rid of the elephant in the room. Yes, guys, I cut my hair. Oh my God. I have so many comments about my hair because I always wore it up. So I wanted to try something different. I love it. It's different. I've never had short hair in my entire 54 years of living. So I did something different. It looks beautiful, babe. Thank you. I probably won't keep it this short, but anyways, let's move on to the travel trailer. I've been researching trailers for several years. Uh, Tanya and I had a smaller, 17 foot pioneer is one of the corrugated trailers it didn't have a slide we had so much fun with that trailer we've taken it all over the united states i'm sure you've seen some of those videos believe it or not we had over 18,000 miles on that trailer in less than two years one of our biggest issues with the trailer was it just wasn't big enough for the two of us it didn't have very much storage and i really wasn't happy with the build quality either i've been researching this trailer it's the Grand Design XLS 22 MLE. This is the 2024 model. They have integrated in a lot of new upgrades, so I'm really kind of glad that we waited because we got some features that we wouldn't have gotten if we bought it one or two years ago. Let me show you around the outside of the camper. Okay, so this camper is uh, running on two 3,500-pound axles which gives you the GVWR, which is the gross vehicle weight rating or the maximum a trailer can weigh is 6,995 pounds. Your cargo capacity is gonna be 1,585 pounds. The unloaded vehicle weight is 5,370 pounds. Like most other travel trailers, this one does have two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. On your dual tanks, each tank has its own gauge. Uh, it also has the dual regulator to where when one side runs out, it will automatically switch over to the other side. So that's a nice feature as well. Here's where your battery is located. We did upgrade our battery to the lithium battery. It's a 100 amp hour battery. Uh, this trailer is equipped with a 165 watt solar panel. It helps keep the battery charged. And that was just one of the upgrades that I wanted to do off the get go because the lithium batteries do have a much better performance for an RV. We've also got this Lippert power tongue jack. It does have an outside light. Here's another mod that I made. I actually took this off our old trailer. It's simply just a, a plate that we've bolted on where we can put our weight distribution hitch while we're at the campsite. So that works out nicely. Another thing I'm really happy with on this trailer is the outside storage because our old trailer, of course, had next to zero. It has an inside LED light that goes all the way across. Another feature that's new is they put this uh, heavy rubber mat in here. It's also equipped for the tire link, where it's basically, this is the dock, and you can plug it in uh, with your tire pressure monitoring system with the sensors, which will work off of your phone. Right here is the Furion. It's a 40 watt charge controller uh, for the solar panel that's on the roof. So this is what uh, monitors the charge state of your battery. Right here is your docking station. One thing great about this trailer is all of your water stuff is inside of the trailer, which helps protect it from the cold. It does have a hot and cold outdoor shower right here with a quick connect hose. Right here, you get a 120 volt plug. This is the light switch for the lighting that I've installed underneath the trailer. This right here is your battery disconnect. Here's your cable and satellite connections. And then another thing I like about this is when you're hooked up to city water, you can actually fill the tank, your fresh tank, by just rotating this. And right now it's actually putting water into the fresh tank. So you don't have to go disconnect the hose and hook it to the tank fill, which we also have. I'll show you that. This trailer is also equipped for an inverter. So it's already got the wiring back here 
It goes to your solar panel, your battery, and your breakers to where if you want to get your 120 volt voltage off of your battery, the inverter will work with that. And that's probably an upgrade that I will do uh, down the road here. It also has the magnetic catches and it's pretty much just your standard door. They're very, very sturdy. They have the standard locks on them. And yes, we have a slide and it's a fairly large slide as you can see. Another upgrade that we added was a slide awning at the top. It just kind of helps keep the leaves and uh, the rain and the sun off of the awning. So that's something that did not come with the trailer that we did add, which I'm glad that we did. This is a Schwintec slide system. So it utilizes that. Uh, there's four of these with, the, of course, the motors and the controller on the inside. Another feature that we upgraded on our trailer when we bought it was brand new, is we got the ceramic coating on the outside which is really gonna help us, give us some more uh, life out of it. It helps block the UV and the rain. It keeps your decals from discoloring and peeling so fast. So that's uh, something else that I was really happy that we got. Another thing that I'm really thrilled about this trailer is our other trailer, the sewer was so low. I mean, it was all the way down to here. At certain sites like this one, where your hookup is high, it was really hard to get a good drain. So you can see how nice and high all of this is. The gray and black valves are right here. Another thing uh, that I like about these is they're easy to pull. They pull straight out. They don't pull down like the ones that I had before. And they are also enclosed inside of the underbelly, which is also heated. It keeps your tanks from freezing and your valves from freezing. So that's a, another great feature that I'm happy with. Right here is the Furion tankless hot water heater basically shows you how that works i don't think it has an anode rod it's a little bit more sophisticated it has some more electronics i think this is a pressure control valve and you can also drain it down here so if you have a tanked water heater with an anode rod we also have a video on that on how you can maintain that as well in the link below or above <laughs> below below we'll put that in the link below another feature uh, that they actually, believe it or not, they got rid of. They got rid of the rear bumper. At first, I was kind of didn't understand why. I thought that was a good thing. But now they have a receiver hitch, which I'm really starting to dig because uh, we have one of these receiver racks. Our generator fits perfectly right here. And look where the plug is at. So when we're boondocking or if we're pulled over on the side of the road and we're using our generator, now the generator is back here, which of course would be locked and tied down instead of in the back of the truck. So when we're sleeping in our bed, we don't even hear it running. So there's your receiver hitch. I believe the receiver has a 300 pound capacity, which I think would be fine uh, for, you know, we could put our bicycles in here and our generator, maybe some firewood. Here's the furnace right here with the exhaust. It's your standard suburban RV. I'm not really sure on the BTU on that. And then all of the lighting is LED, which is a, a nice feature. And it does come equipped with the Furion backup camera prep. So of course we did transfer our Furion camera from our old trailer to our new, and it's working wonderfully. Another great feature is we have a ladder now. Yay! So now I don't need to bring a ladder with me to get on top of the camper. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna go up here and show you what we've got on the roof. So this roof is a fully walkable roof, which is important because you need to be able to get on top of your roof to check for maintenance and leaks, to be able to clean things off. As you can see, the skylight in the shower, and then we have uh, the two roof vents. I've already installed, actually I got these off our old camper, the Max Air vent covers, which help protect your vents from hail. Uh, you can also open them while it's raining. These two black things right here are the vents for the tanks. And this is a vent for the roof, which helps vent heat out uh, in the summertime. Here's our slide with the awning up that we upgraded, which works out really nicely. Here's that 15 BTU Furion air conditioner. And this is the antenna for the TV. Here's our 165 watt Furion solar panel. I think I might uh, get one more of these and, and put it over here in this spot just to give us a little bit more juice. Uh, you can really see the uh, 
the quality that they that Grand Design does on the sealants. Right here is your solar prep to where if you wanted to add another panel, I think what you would actually do is jump this panel to another panel and then that panel would come back to here. So all that's ready to go for us. Here's the 18 foot awning, which is huge. Another reason why I wanted to get this trailer is that the walls are very solid. It's got a fiberglass on the outside. This whole wall is one piece. There's no seams in it other than the door and the windows, of course. The trailer is constructed of two inch aluminum tubing that's welded. It has no wood in it uh, on the structure. It has two inch styrofoam panels in between that are laminated, which makes everything very solid. It also has an R value in the walls of R7. This is a spray port. It's cold only. So you can hook your, wa your water hose in here and rinse things off like the dogs or the kids or, or whatever. <laughs> also, this is the black tank flush, which is another feature that we didn't have before on our other trailer. Basically, you can hook the water hose up to here and it jets out or rinses out your black tank when you're dumping. So that's, that's a good feature as well. Right down here, we have our propane cooker hooker where you can hook your propane up for your Blackstone griddle or your fire pit or whatever you want. If you need propane, it runs off the bottles on the front of the trailer. If you want to have your TV outside, of course, and you're using cable, which I don't really know who does that anymore. <laughs> uh, you have a cable outlet. You also have a GFI 120 volt outlet to plug things in. Like I said before, this does come equipped for the tire link, tire pressure monitoring system. Another feature that we got with the 2024, which I'm glad that we held out for, is if you notice on these wheels, the brake drums are red. Uh, so this trailer comes equipped with anti-lock or ABS braking system. It has a, a controller that's completely separate from the truck. So if you did get into a situation where you locked up these brakes, it would help prevent the trailer from jackknifing or skidding, which enables you to control things much better. It also came with the Goodyear Endurance tires, which is a good thing because uh, we don't have to take the China bombs off and buy these. <laughs> we do have tandem axles this time. This trailer actually tows much better than our smaller trailer. I'm really impressed with it. Because we no longer have a bumper, they give you this little sewer pipe where you can keep your sewer hoses. This right here is your fresh tank drain. It has a big gate valve on it, so it drains the tank very quickly. And these are your two overflow tubes. In case you overfill the fresh tank, it would come out here. Right here are your low point drains for your hot and your cold water. So when you're not using your trailer, it's a good idea to open these up and let the, uh, the water out so it doesn't get nasty in your lines or also for winter to prevent things from freezing. This is where you would drain everything right here. So this trailer comes with the standard scissor jacks. Of course, we use the drill to raise and lower them. Tanya and I have already upgraded the scissor jacks on here, and we put these RV snack pads. I'm really impressed with. They're very heavy, very solid. They kind of keep your metal jacks off the ground. We did a short on this as well, which kind of shows how to install them and how they work. Right here is the fresh tank fill. Another feature that I really like, I really am happy with these steps. They're aluminum. They're very simple. Hold up, pull down, very easy. They're very sturdy. I really don't like those ladders that they have now or the more ride where they fold up in the camper. I still like this, it works just fine. This door, it has the the standard grab handle, which folds over. The door has a friction hinge. So if it's really windy, it kind of keeps it from slamming your door on you. Of course, it does have the two piece screen and I added this door handle right here today, actually, uh, which really does make things easy to close the door because you don't have to close it with this. You can grab it from the inside and pull it. This camper has a massive 18 foot awning. The awning is so large, it actually has to have a center support right here to carry the weight of when it's rolled up. You can control the lighting of the awning and you can also extend the awning. It 
it's almost like having a carport on the side of the trailer. You could probably just pull your truck right up under here and use it for a garage. <laughs> right there is about as far as you want to take it. Our previous camper, whenever I walked by, I would always hit my head on these. And these are much higher. And you can also, of course, tilt and support it uh, to tip it in case you wanted the rain to fall one way or the other, or if you're trying to block the sun. So one of the mods that I've made to this trailer that I've always wanted because it's just such a bit, it's a game changer. Tanya and I are always getting these places after dark. So we're pulling in at night and we need light to, hook, to do everything that you need to do around the trailer, hooking everything up, leveling it, jacking it, blocking it, all that stuff. So of course this switch right here that I showed you earlier, it used to just be tied into one single light back there by the sewer. And so now when you turn this switch on, we have LED lighting that runs all the way around the perimeter, all four sides, and it lights up the ground really well. All this is running on the battery, of course. It's 12 volt, and uh, it's something that I'm really happy with. Look at this. It's so nice. So one of the things we really liked about this trailer, it's a small trailer, but it's not boxed in, closed in. One thing you can see is that the bedroom is open to the rest of it. Uh, this trailer does have a slide. We're so happy to finally have a slide. It has a very open concept which is what we like. We even have an open concept in our house. It's exactly what we wanted. Like David mentioned, we've looked at this trailer for years and we wanted to show you around because this is a trailer that is a perfect couples trailer. The length is 22 feet on the inside. It's bigger than our last trailer a little bit. So we'll start in the bedroom and show you around the bedroom. One of the things we really liked about this is we have closet space. So we have a full size queen. We don't have the short queen like we had in the last travel trailer. Each of us have our own closets. So that's really nice. So the bed also has cubbies. And what's really cool about these is you have USB, USB-C and 120 volt plugs. You have the nice blue lights. And then you also have the reading lights. Uh, we also have two bins up at the top. One of the things we really like is the spring hinge so it holds itself up when you're trying to get in there. Uh, each closet is very, very spacious. It goes all the way back. So you can also store additional items. Each window has blackout vinyl roller shades with the soft close feature. Very nice quality balance. We also like the fact that if we have family with us, there's a privacy curtain. So we can close our bedroom and be private from everything else. One of the things we really liked was our shoe garage. So you have a place for all your shoes. And in addition to that, you have more storage under the bed. So the storage under the bed is easy to get to, very, very nice. And it's just a simple lift, not heavy at all, with spring hinges as well to hold it up. Uh, it's a big area with a slide shelving system. So you can put things underneath, slide it over, have more space to store. We put our additional shoes under here along with some other equipment that we, hiking equipment that we need. Very easy to get to. Mm -hmm. Yay, we have recliners. They have massage, heat, and these blue lights that come on underneath at night, which kind of helps you, you know, if it's, you don't want to have all these bright lights on. This they, is our favorite part right they're here. Full, they fully recline. Wee! <laughs> and then you can... <laughs> Lean back. <laughs> One of the things I also like about this camper is that the TV is directly across from the recliners yes. and up high. So if you watch TV, it's uh, another great feature. So instead of hiking, this is where we are now. Yes. So the trailer came with a 32 inch Roku smart TV. Uh, already set up for internet. Very nice. Another one of my favorite features of this trailer 
is it has the Compass Connect control center. It's got all of your lights for your tanks and your batteries. It also controls your slide and your awning, just, just like some of the basic ones. It has a motion sensor right here. So when you open the cabinet, all the lighting automatically comes on. But one of the favorite features to this is it has the One Control RV app that you can put on your iPhone. And so you can control all of this uh, from your iPhone. It shows your tank levels, your voltage. You can control the lights. You can also uh, retract your awning and control the inside light, the outside light on the awning. Your water pump, you can actually turn it on and off from your phone and you can do your slides in and out. Very cool. The 2024 has several new features, which is another reason why I'm glad that we held off. One of the features is these LED track lights. The other model had individual, kind of like the standard puck lighting. And the track lighting is are controlled right here. It also has a dimmer where you can control the lighting, which really is a nice feature at night. Another feature we liked about this trailer was the booth dinette. It's nice and roomy. Uh, this makes into a bed. It's really easy to move up and down. It has a spring loaded telescoping pole. So very easy to set up if you have people with you. There's a lot more room than our last trailer. Very spacious. This is a twin bed. Uh, the length is great for even somebody like David, who's about six foot. So it's roomy for one, maybe two people. You could probably get a couple of kids here as well. Another reason we're really glad we waited for the 2024 is it has a 12 volt fridge. So if you contemplate driving down the road with propane on, like we never did before, <laughs> <laughs> then... We don't have to do that anymore. We have a 12 volt fridge and it gives us a lot of peace of mind. The refrigerator is being run off of a 12 volt battery that's being charged by a solar panel that's on the roof. So that is really, really nice. So this refrigerator has a lot more room because it doesn't have the fins in the back like the propane refrigerators do. Uh, so it gives you a lot more space. Because it's a 12 volt refrigerator, it cools quicker. So it'll cool like that. As soon as you turn it on within less than an hour, you're ready to go. The other one took probably all night. Our freezer, nice and spacious, gives us lots of room. And this is my favorite part, <laughs> the kitchen. The kitchen is amazing. I think we had one drawer in our last trailer. You know, we like to talk about the things we didn't have, but it was a very good first trailer to see what we liked. We like the style of this one. You have the corner sink. It's just more homey. It's not squared out. Uh, we really like having a coffee station, which we didn't have before. Uh, the oven. Um, we hear a lot of people say that the oven doesn't run like other ovens but we have not had any problems i do have to bring it maybe higher by uh, you know if it's 375 maybe bring it to 400 to cook this morning we made some muffins that cooked beautifully everything in here is furion we have the three burner stove so lots and lots of space the knobs do light up which makes it really nice and you do turn it on if you can see, it turns red. So you never leave a burner on, which is nice because you're, if you walk away and forget, you'll know it's going to be on. We also have the Furion vent hood with lights. The vent actually vents on the outside of the trailer, which makes it really nice. Use your vent hood when you're cooking because the last two times I cooked, the smoke alarm went off both times because I keep forgetting to use it. Don't do like I did. Uh, we have a standard microwave, just like we had in the last one, but it is very nice. And we do have another light. Lots of good lighting. Uh, drawers, crazy, crazy space on drawers. I mean. I was able to just have a drawer for pans, which is really nice. The 
the drawers are full extension. So lots and lots of space. Uh, we even have a place for our black stone griddle. I really like the prep space here. Uh, you have just so much room to prep your meal. Uh, lots and lots of cabinets. And the thing about your cabinets is they go very deep. Look how deep these cabinets are. The quality, the craftsmanship is just unbelievable. The trailer came with a sink cover, which makes it really nice when you're on the road. Uh, if you need to put anything inside to keep everything secure, that's great. Uh, we, we like the sink, how it's just one sink instead of two sides. And that's a preference. A lot of people like two sides. We like the one. We're very happy with the craftsmanship of the plumbing fixtures. No need to replace them. They're just amazing. Uh, we do have a tankless hot water heater and David's going to show you a little bit about that but when you do turn this on you've got an extension you have the spray just very simple to use and good good quality that was one of the reasons we love this trailer you even have a little cubby under here to put other things like we have our soaps and, and more space under here bags dish rack can't ask for more space. Mm -hmm. okay. Another great thing is you have a wireless charger. So it'll just charge your phone wirelessly with no problem whatsoever. And then you have some USBs, two USBs, not USB-C, but two USBs, which is nice. You also have USBs in your chair. Another one of the newer features that we got with this trailer was the Furion on-demand tankless hot water heater. Uh, the way that it works is you can turn the power on and you can set the temperature that you want your hot water to be. And this thing only works on propane. It's not like our old trailer where it was electric or propane, it's propane only. When you turn the hot water on, the water heater will kick on. Here's your flame and it immediately starts heating the water. Once it gets to the temperature that you selected, uh, it will stay at that temperature basically indefinitely or until you run out of propane. So plenty of hot water in this trailer. Our temperature that we're currently using is about 122, which seems to work out well for the shower or washing dishes. We really like the feature of the sliding barn door. Uh, it takes up less space, it's not in the way. So you go into the restroom and you don't have the door blocking anything, which is really, really nice. The bathroom is small, but it's still very spacious. Lots of cabinetry. You have the shower, which is very spacious, roomy. Again, great fixtures. The shower curtain's really cool because it's a retractable shower curtain, so it squeegees the water as you move it back and forth so again you don't have to have the shower curtain in the way that's gonna get all over you while you're showering lots of cabinets places for your toilet paper towels medicine cabinet it actually has two medicine cabinets uh we haven't decided uh, they leave the uh, placement of the toilet paper roll up to you and we haven't decided that yet So uh, that's why that's in there. It does have a porcelain potty, which is nice because you don't feel like you're gonna break it every time you sit down <laughs> And it makes a farting noise when you flush <laughs> But it's quiet. So here's your thermostat control. It's also a Furion. We have a Furion 15,000 BTU air conditioner and this thermostat not only controls the air conditioner, but it also controls the furnace. So you have your heat mode, your fan only mode, a dry mode, the cool mode, and then here you can control the temperatures and also the fan speed. So it's really nice to actually have a thermostat. Here is your fuse panel. This trailer has the auto detect converter by WIFCO. And basically what that means is that you can either use it on a lead acid or a lithium battery. And supposedly 
It's supposed to automatically detect the battery if you switch it out, which we did upgrade ours, by the way, to a lithium battery. And basically on the inside, it's, it's just like any other trailer. You got all your AC breakers here and then all of your DC fuses here. This would be your pantry, by the way. We're not really finished organizing yet, uh, but this would be a great place to keep all of your food. And of course, you also get two more drawers. I can't even reach the back of uh -uh. So we could put a lot of items in here. Another thing that I like about this trailer is that the ducts aren't in the floor, they're in the cabinets. So you don't have those vents in the floor where dirt's falling down in them. So you get a furnace vent here, you get one in the bathroom, and there's also one on the other side of the trailer in the bedroom. So it kind of disperses the heat really well and warms it up very quick. This trailer came with just the standard roof fence. There's one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom. It has the smaller fans that we probably will be upgrading in the future to the larger Max Air style fans. And of course, here's the app. It shows how the slide works. And we wanted to show you what the access on the inside of the trailer looks like with the slide in. So we wanted to show you the pass through. It is amazing, which is another reason we like this trailer because if we're pulled over on the side of the road and we want to come in, we don't even have to put the slide out. I mean, we can do everything with the slide in. So you have all this space. You can even cook. You can get to your refrigerator. You can get to your stove, oven. Even all of the kitchen space is accessible, even with the slide in. Everything is accessible, even if you don't want to bring out your slide. We can still sit in our chairs. Of course, we can't recline them, but we can still watch TV. In fact, it's closer so we can really see better. But how cool is that? We hope you've enjoyed our tour of our new camper. We're so excited. We are enjoying camping more than ever now. This trailer, I, I, to be honest with you, it's it's so good. There's really not a whole lot we need to do to it. Um, but there are some things that uh, I, I've got on my list that I would like to uh, upgrade to make it even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, knowing David, he'll be doing something. You know that. <laughs> well, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, we are out side by side, as we mentioned. We hope you join our community and subscribe to our channel. If you've been part of our community, we thank you. This channel would not be in existence without you. We absolutely love your feedback. Thank you from the bottom of our, our hearts for sticking with us. Uh, please don't forget to like this video. Share with anybody looking for a new camper. I mean, this is a great one, guys. You're going to really, really love to share this video because we did our research for quite a while to figure out what we wanted. So we hope this helps you in your decision making. Oh, and guess what? We just reached 10,000 subscribers thanks to you. Oh my gosh, how exciting. <laughs> wow. So just to follow up from our last video, um, I, of course, made the announcement that I have colon cancer and I'm on my eighth chemo treatment. So I only have four more to go and uh, real excited about that and looking forward to getting back to normal with life and being able to do even more traveling and camping. Yes. He's doing fantastic, and thank you so much for your prayers, and thank you for your amazing support. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Whew. Ha. He. Whew. Are you ready? Yeah. Each window has black vinyl... Black. Vinyl blackout roller shades. Each window has black. Each window has. Black vinyl. No, wait. Blackout vinyl window shades. Roller shades. Roller shades, okay. We also have a solar panel and the, the refrigerator is run. The refrigerator is running off of a 12 volt battery 
that's charged by the sol uh, by a solar panel on the roof. Okay. The refrigerator is being run by a 12 volt battery that's being charged. I did. The refrigerator is being run by a 12 volt battery that's being charged on the roof by the solar panel. So we have a solar panel. It's being charged by the solar panel on the roof. Okay. Not on the roof. Okay. First. Okay. The refrigerator is being charged by a 12 volt battery. The refrigerator <laughs> is running on a 12 volt battery that's being charged by a solar panel that's on the roof. Okay. 